Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will learn about error handling in CL program. So there are two types of uh, error handling in CL program. Uh, first one is command level, and second one is program level. So in this session, mainly we will discuss about the program level error handling. Okay. So in order to explain the same, I have created one program. So let me go through you that code. So what we are doing here in program? Firstly, we are declaring one variable. So for declaring the variable, you can press F4 on DCL. So the, my variable name is num1. It is of type decimal. And the value we have, uh, length we have assigned to this variable is 5, 0. 5 is length and 0 is decimal position. Now simply hit enter. Now you can see that at the time of declaration, we have specified that the length of the variable is 5. But at the time of assigning the value to this variable, we will change the length so let's see how so just write csg where press f4 pass the variable name now we are assigning value of eight digit number okay which is not correct because the actual length of the variable is only five digit but we are specifying it as a eight digit number so for sure it will give error so these lines are for now I have commented because these are the thing that we will learn but before that I will show you the actual error that we are getting uh, due to this reason like uh, length is 5 and we are specifying the 8 digit number so it will uh, produce one error so let's see how I'm compiling it calling it so it breaks with this ID uh, MCH1210 received by procedure this now if you do F1 here on this ID and press F10 here then it will show receiver value too small too small to hold the result so this is the actual reason of that program failure now to handle this issue what we can do we can simply copy this id let me take you back to the program so now we will use the mon message mon message is a error handling uh, command so let me uncomment these lines so what you can do now you can just directly go to go on command and just write mon msg mon message then press f4 here you can pass the message id so whatever the error you are getting you can paste the message id here if you are not aware of uh, what all message id we have then you can uh, search it on google as well as uh, i will cover once uh, one more session where we will discuss how to find out all these error messages okay message ids so for now i just keep this as uh, uh, this issue because uh, we know that this is the actual reason of the error so we just copied it from the same screen and we are trying to handle it here now in exec or command to exit execute we are just passing it as a do so what it will do whatever the thing we will write inside that do and end do so this is a block mon, mon message block which, which is started from do and at the end I just keep it as a end do so whatever the things written inside this block will be executed in case of error occur okay so if error occur it will go inside this block it will execute all the lines so as of now we have just written one line here which is error generated please change the value so let's see how it is handling this value so I'm calling it so it gives the generic message error generated please change the value this time program didn't fail so this is how we can utilize mon message to handle the error okay so you can see that this is a program uh, this is a command level error handling because af just after the command we, uh, we know that this command might cause some issues so just after that uh, this we are handling the error using mon message and if it if it uh, if this error occurs in that case it will give this message so this is a kind of uh, command level error handling in next session we will discuss program level error handling okay so i hope this session is clear to all of you mainly what we do in this session we just create one variable and with length 5 but at the time of assignment we are assigning 8 digit value because uh, just to uh, create the issue just to cause the error okay now after that what we are doing we are using mon message to handle this issue and it successfully handles it and pro uh, provide the proper message to user that please uh, error generated please change the value so this is how we can utilize money message i hope the session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching texture method